Hi, my name is Prabhji Pirwal, and today I will be cooking for you all. Um, a lot of people have asked me the recipe for my butter chicken, and so now I'm actually sharing it not only with the people that wanted to know, but you guys too. So, it's really easy. I mean, it seems like it's a lot of work because it tastes so good, but trust me, it's so easy. Alright, first of all, of course, we need chicken. So what I do, I get around one pound of chicken, and then I cut it into little pieces, which I'll show you. I've had cut it already, so you can see. So just like this, like little pieces, you know, you can even cut it with your hands. So one pound of that, and then also secret ingredients are the sauces. Number one is the Botox butter chicken sauce, and that you can actually get from the grocery store, or um, if you can't find it at the grocery store, make sure you go to an Indian store. So you're bound to get that there. And remember, it's Botox. And then this as well. I usually put like one spoon of this. It's Botox tikka masala, and it makes it really good. All right. Well. As the Indians know that our main ingredient always is onion, garlic, and oh man, what do you <laughs> Yeah, onion garlic, that's like always there. Um so and ginger. Sorry, I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, so what I do is the best oil to use is actually olive oil. So what we're first going to do is we're going to go ahead and cook our chicken, which, you know, um, is done really fast. So I'm going to go ahead and put two spoons of olive oil. Sorry, I'm kind of nervous because I haven't done this before, so please excuse my, you know, weirdness. <laughs> and then you can put the temperature on the, of the stove to whatever you're comfortable with. So I usually put it in the middle, um, medium, or on five. All right, and this is the fun part. First of all, what we're going to do, we will take our onion and our ginger, which I already have cut. So I cut the ginger into like little square pieces like this. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in here. And I'm going to get a spoon here. All righty. And then I'm going to put one spoon of garlic and this garlic you can get from the store it's the minced so you know you don't have to cut it because your hand usually smells like ginger for a whole week or two <laughs> so i put one spoon of that cutting board out here and then the fun part onions okay you can, it's up to you you can put red onions or you can put white I usually put in whatever I have available and this actually I will cut into long pieces and I'll show you also the secret to cooking is always use a wooden spoon because it doesn't get hot while you're cooking yeah trust me the metal ones they burn <laughs> Okay, and if it seems like you need more oil, you can go ahead and put some more. So it just all depends on how much. So I'm putting like one more. Half up. So I'm going to cut the onion into long strips. I usually just do it over the stove like this. Hopefully you guys make this and you have to tell me if it's good. Because I will guarantee you that everyone will love you. <laughs> I actually um, had a couple of get-togethers and I, you know, came up with this um, new recipe. Um, my mom, she loves to cook, so I get it from her. I love learning how to cook, make new things, my own things, and really simple too. And they turn out all good. So, yeah, and a lot of people um, after the get-together asked me, they're like, oh my god, how did you make the butter chicken? And I was like... Huh, if I tell them, they're going to say that's too easy. You can always say it's so good. And then I told them, I was like, you know what? When I share it, I'll share it with everyone. Not just you guys. <laughs> so today's that day that I'm sharing it. So, so far we have 
garlic, ginger, and onion. So we're going to let that simmer for a bit, get a little bit golden color. And then also, this is also um, added into um, the dish. It's up to you. Sometimes I just use the green, if I have the green or the yellow or the red. Or you can put all three, but don't put too much, just a little bit. And we're going to cut that into long pieces as well. We're just going to add everything together. So there's no time or anything. Yeah, at the end, it all comes out really good. So I guess that's what matters. And you know what? I have another onion, so I'm going to put red as well. My husband's gone um, to L.A., so once he gets back, he will have dinner ready. He loves it as well. He thinks I'm like the best cook. But sometimes I feel kind of guilty because they call me a good cook. And I, I'm not saying I'm not, but it's just too easy that I see a lot of cooking shows and I see how many things they put into their dish and it seems like it's really hard but as far as me it's really easy and it's really good sorry about the camera um this is my first time making this movie so um once my husband comes back he will help me make a better movie and also i will if you guys like my video um please let me know and whoever makes this dish, please let me know how it turns out. Because you will love me. Trust me. Um, yeah, and then I will also, there's like so many things I know how to make. After this, I can show you guys how to make fish pakoras. Um, that's also um, one of my top recipes that no one actually makes the way I do. So, um, just um, sweet dishes. I know all East Indian um, dishes. And if I don't, my mom's always there to help me. So that's why I always say I know how to make everything. And then um, sweet dishes, um, pakoras, samosas, chutneys, um, dal sabji, whatever. If you guys need to know how to make something, all you got to do is just write it down or text it to me on, um, on YouTube. And I will make sure I reply and let you know all the details. So I'm going to go ahead and put the temperature up a bit. So I'm not going to use the yellow. I'm on the move. So I'm going to put a little bit of red and green. And as you know, we're going to add the chicken um, after it turns a little bit golden brown because chicken is cooked like really, really fast. Sometimes I'm not going too fast for you guys, but I will go over this again, make another video. I don't know how long I can make my video for, but trust me, I need a lot of time. <laughs> so again, I'm going to cut this into long pieces. I actually sometimes don't even use a cutting board. I just like to just cut while I'm cooking. I don't know if that's good or not, but I like to do it that way. <laughs> Less uh, of a mess. It's smelling good already. I can't even put on my fan because it's going to make a lot of noise. So, you know, I mean, this is the bell pepper right here. So as you can see, I just cut like a little side off and just, yeah, so not too much. And the same with the red. Put this away. And I have pre-washed everything. So make sure you always wash the vegetables before you cut them. You guys, I'm serious. This is, isn't it easy? I mean, come on. You probably think, oh yeah, this is too easy. How could it be like so good? But trust me, it's going to be good. Oh, also, I like adding these. The green onions. The long, you know, makes it look colorful. It's really nice. I got to actually probably pick up the camera and show you guys how nice it looks. Because my camera guy's not here. And believe me, the next video will be better. And since this is my first time, I have to get used to it. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys make it. Because I really, really want to know. I mean, this is going to be awesome. 
Thanksgiving just passed. Now Christmas is coming up. I mean, you have to make this like a side dish. I mean, let everyone try it. See what they think. Okay, so I put in like one and a half of the um, green onion. I'm just stirring it around. I gotta show you how it looks now. Now I guess I have to grab this camera. Not easy doing. My daughter was gonna help me, but she's like, Mom, I don't know how to use the camera. I was like, okay. <laughs> Oops. So I will zoom it in. There we go. Somewhat you can see. Very colorful, the green and the red, Christmassy colors. Alright, you can probably hear it simmering. I'm so sorry guys. I'm new at this too, but you know what? I will get better. There you go. My wires are going everywhere. Alrighty then. Okay. Ah. I'm lost. So, got that going here. I'm gonna let it simmer because it's taking um, a while and I need to fix the camera, so I will stop it for a second, but I will be right back. 